Government tonight plans to invest millions of dollars to expand the nation's meat processing capacity. This comes as beef prices nationwide we know have increased. Our Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson explains. After seeing meat production slow and prices rise during the pandemic, and the beef supply chain was not spared. California Congressman Jim Costa welcomes the Department of Agriculture's new $500 million investment to expand beef, pork, and poultry processing capacities. Wednesday, a House committee heard from industry representatives, meat packers, and grocery supply partners about the remaining challenges. Cattle inventory is falling. Feed prices have been rising. There's a drought in the West. South Dakota Congressman Dusty Johnson says Congress needs to find long-term solutions to protect cattle farmers and called the COVID-19 relief funds a short-term fix. That American ranchers have worked for generations, generations, to improve quality and efficiency so they can feed their fellow Americans and people all across this globe. The meat industry not only faces the threat of rising costs, but also the growing threat of cyber attacks. Back in May, JBS Foods, one of the nation's largest meat processors, was hit by a cyber attack. We cannot allow food security, which is national security, and the protecting of our food system from foreign interferences uh, to be disrupted. Costa wants Congress to take stronger steps to crack down on ransomware attacks to prevent economic damage. Reporting in Washington, Rashad Hudson.